Next, let's see how the text tool works. We can find the text tool on the toolbar using this icon here. When we hit the text icon, our cursor appears and we can click on the artboard and that will create a text field. Alternatively, we can use the shortcut, which is T, and that will activate the text tool, and then we can click again on our artboard to create another text box. Now, instead of actually clicking on the artboard to create a text box, we can also click and drag to create a custom sized text box. Now, if we want to edit the text, we can either double click on it or with the box selected, hit enter. Like other objects in Rive, the text box has multiple properties that we can change. So things like position, scale, and rotation. The next options that we have allow us to change both the size of the text box in the width and height. Unlike many other objects in Rive, we also have the ability to change the origin in the inspector. But if we don't want to use these values, we can always hit Y to activate freeze mode and then move the origin wherever we want. You'll see that in the inspector, our values have changed to 50% by 50% because we put the origin in the middle. Like many other text tools you'll find, we also have alignment options. So we can left align, center align, or right align our text. And we can also change how the text box works. The first option fits our text box to the current text that we have. The second option allows us to control the width of our text box, but not the height. The third option, though, gives us a completely customizable text field. Essentially, these three options restrict the size properties in the inspector. Notice how they change as we toggle through the different options. Now let's look at the overflow options using this longer bit of text. You can find the overflow options here. By default, overflow is set to visible. But let's say, for example, you wanted to change it, we could go to ellipsis and everything that goes past our defined text box gets replaced with these three ellipses. You can see that as we adjust the text box and all of our text is visible, the ellipses go away. But if we shrink it, then the ellipses are just added to the last text. The next option that we have is the clipped option. Anything falling outside of the text box will be clipped off even if we're halfway through a line of text. An alternative to clipped is hidden. Now in this case, our lines won't be cut in half, they'll just disappear as they fall outside of the text box. The last option is the visible option, and this is the default setting that we've already seen. And lastly, with this value, we can control the space between paragraphs. It's important to note that most of these properties can be animated. If we look at the inspector, you'll see a diamond next to each animatable property. That indicates that we can create keys on the timeline. Thanks to this, we can create all sorts of interesting animations in Rive.